clean actually i've not had any alcohol any drugs actually for about two weeks now so that's been pretty cool um it's quite nice isn't it I, i'm a few people say it all the time and you, you always end up sounding like a crackhead when you say stuff like this but it's fairly um it's fairly enjoyable waking up in the weekend and not having a hangover like being hangover free in the weekend is beautiful like honestly you get so much done especially with all the stuff i have going on anywhere in my life and trying to get my mental health back where it needs to be trying to get my career where it needs to be trying to make sure i'm doing my side hustles to the point that i need to do them right there's loads of things i'm currently not doing at the moment that would be aided if i had a clear mind right and a clear heart and a clear way to kind of express myself and you know it's not necessarily helped by in talk um, kind of taking on board those kind of you know drugs those kind of vices and shit because they don't really help they help sometimes in the short run don't get me wrong I think no one can deny that if you're having a tough day and someone hands you a glass of scotch on the rocks, right, or neat um, and a nice cigar, I'm sure for, uh, you know, the briefest of moments, you'll feel bliss. You'll be like, oh, finally, right? What a great day this is going to be out. But when you, as soon as that scotch is finished, as soon as that kind of buzz wears off, you're, you're done for, isn't it? I wish they could do that. I wish they could um, make some kind of drink. Maybe that's what wine is, isn't it? maybe they could make a drink that could you know when you're drinking beer and you get that buzz you get the good little you get the good buzz like the i'm i'm tipsy or i'm a bit giddy i'm a bit giddy but i'm not drunk i wish you could just have a drink that made you have that feeling or sustained it for a period of time because what ends up happening is that you end up hitting a point of no return right you end up trying to chase that buzz and then it ends up kind of falling off a cliff and then you end up getting blacked out and then suddenly your friends are having to order you an uber home and you're covered in someone else's vomit not my story not my story but yeah, I wish they someone could do that. I guess that's why um, people prefer going out to like Mediterranean countries, or that's why people from the Mediterranean have better relationship when it comes to alcohol and beverage. I've, I've say all the time to people that are from Spain and stuff, like who always kind of are a bit bewildered by how um, fucked up we get as a nation in the UK on drugs and alcohol. I always say that it's not really our fault, in it really, to be honest. Like the way the the way the bar cultures and pubs are or clubs are designed. It's, even pubs we got some of the best pubs around especially in the area that i live in east london some great pubs right from the brunch from the big franchises to the small independent ones there's everything that you want right to to the kind of like you know sketchy um eastern european ones that are popping off on the weekends they have little club nights they have there like we have some really good bars and pubs in this area but the issue is that for the most part you are chucked out of those establishments at like what 11 12 p 12 a.m maybe at the latest right um and for most people, that's just when you're about to get started, right? You're revving up. So what ends up happening is like, people end up changing their drinking patterns, right? To kind of fit in with what's going on in terms of pub, bars and pubs. Because, you know, you can only work with what you got. So now people are leaving work earlier or having boozy lunch, especially on a Friday, especially if it's a payday weekend. They'll have like a boozy lunch, so you're already intoxicated. Then they'll finish work earlier. Then they might have a couple of drinks at work because sometimes most offices have like, you know, some kind of offices, office manager or HR person or uh, company or kind of, you know, um, what's the thing called them? Wellness or happiness kind of coordinator who kind of organizes all these events and they kind of go out of their way to make sure, you know, the working environment is as, um, is as enjoyable as possible to kind of get the best out of everyone so people can, you know, hit their targets, the business can make more money, blah, blah, blah. It's a good, it's a good um, thing. So they'll go out their way to make sure everyone's supplied with drinks, maybe get some liquor, maybe get some wine, some beers. You have a couple there. Then you go meet up your other friends, your friends outside of work, right? Um, and then they might meet you up early because they finish their work early too. You end up going to a nice little trendy bar somewhere in the Liverpool Street. It's only 7 p.m. now. You've already had a boozy lunch. You've had maybe a couple at your desk, a couple after work, quote unquote, around the um, kitchen area, and then some on your way to the pub and then some at the pub. You've maybe had like five occasions already where you're already kind of boozed up. And then by the time you start to realize or start to maybe kind of contemplate um, going out somewhere else, you are absolutely levered. And it's only 11 o'clock, it's only 10 p.m. How many times, I, I can't speak for myself, but have you ever been out sometimes after work and you've, and you've looked at your watch and you're like, bloody hell, it's only 10 p.m. Because it feels like you've been out for ages. Why? Because you've left work early on a Friday and then you've all got drunk together and you're still drunk out now. And it's like, you look at the watch and it's like, especially when it's summer, and it's still light outside. Yeah, Jesus Christ, it's only 8 p.m. And you've had like, I don't know, 17 pints. So I think, but, and again, I, I'm not really sure why as a country we don't change it because antisocial behavior, especially on the weekend, goes up a lot. The police, the police, police men and women have to put up with some absolute nonsense. The 
ambulance and medical services have to kind of pick up people that fall in gutters and stuff it's a real waste of resources like they could really do they could really do a lot of good but again i think we're so babied in this country like any little fun thing do you remember when yo-yos came in to train in schools and they just banned them because kids were getting injured and stuff like some kids would get injured right kids that didn't have to use them or some dumb kids right don't get me wrong but most kids enjoyed using yo-yos they banned them hoverboards banned scooters banned Everything fun that got introduced in the UK. I remember when I was in school, they just kept banning stuff. We're just such a baby, the molly coddled um, country. So it's just so annoying. The best thing would be to like kind of, I think, just in general, just to, just to trial in some areas, especially some of the more high risk areas, right? Let's say like central London, bit, parts of central London, parts of Liverpool Street, Old Street, Angel, Clapham, Brixton, right? Those places where like, you know, on the weekend stuff starts getting popping off. Just extend the pub hours by a couple. That's it. I'm not saying keep them up until six like Berlin because that's not going to happen as a culture. We're a bit too funny, fuddy daddy for that stuff. But let's just imagine your local pub in your area, right? The one that you go to sometimes with your family for a Sunday roast. Let's imagine on the Friday it's open until 2 a.m. Or free, heaven forbid, right? What ends up happening there? Like you can end up having actual, an actual boozy um, evening out with your mates. They end up getting a DJ to play or there's a live band in there, right? You end up staying and having a good time. And you end up actually saving money because you don't have to go to fabric or go to, you know, whatever to go and party. You can just stay in your area. You can walk home. There's no need to kind of, you know, drink, drive. You can get Uber back. It's going to cost you like tenner at most, right? It's done. Like it's, it kind of really, it settles you down. And I think that's what, that's essentially the, the beauty of bars and nightlife culture in Berlin, I'd imagine. Because everything's open so late, there's no rush. There's no need to kind of frantically get places. I always feel as if here, we're always trying to... I remember even for myself, when I used to live at home, I used to put on nights in Dawson. Or I used to go out a lot in Dawson and Shoreditch. Like, I'd actually... I'd have to run home. Like, but that was especially the time I was working at Dr. Martin's, right? I'd have to... I was working at Dr. Martin's, what, that was the first flagship store in Carnaby Street. I'd be at Carnaby Street, I'd, especially when I was supervisor. I'd have to lock up, cash up, which is annoying, right? I was horrible at cashing up because my maths is, you know, down the toilet. I'd have to cash up. Um... Luckily, I'd had like I had already like cool, trendy hips of clothes on because I work at Dr. Martin's, right? So I run home, um, have a little, you know, Puerto Rican shower, right, in the sink, um, rush out, and then I have to kind of rush out, go do my stuff, whatever I'm, I was gonna go do, right? And then I have to kind of get out of my house before I don't know 10 p.m. to make it worthwhile because by the time I leave, let's say my family's home at Canning Town to go to Central London, it's about it's about oh no, go to Central East, wherever that is, right, in Dawson and Shoreditch and stuff and Hackney. It's about a 45 minute journey, right? Maybe tops 40 minutes. Um, so you have to really put that into context. So if you leave at 11, you're essentially only giving yourself three hours to party because everywhere closes at like 3 a.m. Unless you've got like a little lock in and you've got some friends I can invite you in and stuff. But mostly you have to really race around to get to places to kind of enjoy any kind of occasion. And then what ends up happening? You end up being too revved up. You're too on it, right? Do you know what I mean? That's the one thing you hear about Berlin or Bergheim. Oh, what? Just don't don't be too excited in the, in the queue. Like, relax, chill out, all that sort of stuff. Why? Because it doesn't really um, it doesn't really uh, benefit you when you go into the dance floor that you're so amped up and you're screaming and shouting and shit. It's just like annoying, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Hopefully that changes. It would be nice if the night czar, you know, that Amy Lammy woman had some kind of input in that. But I know probably it's above her pay grade. But Jesus Christ, what has she done since getting that job? Instead of like standing behind, like you know with a flash beaming inside of her face, wearing those silly dresses, you know, in weird functions. Like, I, I, I never understood how she got hired for that job. To be was it an open application anyway? Was it open applications? Or was, it just, was she a member of the cabinet anyway? Or was she like a politician beforehand? Just an incredibly bizarre... Like, if you look at every other night czar that is, exists in the world, especially in Europe, most of them have like a very deep history or ties to the nightlife scene, like actual club life. Not like... Because I think she used to do cabaret shows or comedy. Not like all that kind of alternative shit that happens in like, you know, some basement bar somewhere in the middle of an angel. No, I'm talking about actual clubs, actual nightclubs, actual debauchery, right? Like she wasn't part of any of that stuff. She was just, you know, part of the kind of alternative, I don't know, comedy improv scene and stuff. And suddenly she got a job where she's having an input into the future of some of our most prevalent nightclubs in London. It makes no sense, does it really? I don't know. But what do 